Hey, welcome to Fanverse again. I needed some arrow graphics in my edits, so I figured why not make a reusable mogut? So that's exactly what I did. And today I'll walk you through my latest mogut creation, arrows. All right, I'm already in Premiere Pro. I've got the mogut loaded in the essential graphics panel. If you're new to mogut and aren't sure how to install them, I've got a link up here for you to check out. Let's drag this onto the timeline. I've tested it on both PC and Mac, it's not a heavy mogut, so it should run pretty smoothly. The length of the mogut is 12 seconds. To preview it, just click off these three buttons. It's a simple arrow growing from left to right. But just bear with me, it'll get more fun. To customize your arrow, I'll start with the shape. First, turn on these two controls. You can adjust the arrow curve by moving the arrow side control. It bends the arrow in different directions. You may see the triangle going nuts when you're adjusting the positions, but it shouldn't be in the final render. On the other end of the control, this will allow you to create a curve on the path. If you're feeling a bit daring, you could totally make a U-turn arrow. You might also have to go to effect controls to tweak the position and rotation. Once you're happy with the shape, you can turn off the controls so they don't get rendered. Next is the animation control. It allows you to keyframe the arrow movement. By default, the animation starts at 1 second and lasts for 1 second. If you want it to start from the very beginning, just turn timing down to 0. Change the duration to 0.5 on the slider, turn it to 5. Or make it slower by increasing the value. If you want 2 seconds, then bring it up to 20. And you get a slower animation. As for colors, you've got full control over the arrows look. I added a stroke to the triangle as well though I'm not sure how useful that would be for anyone. You can also trick the size of the triangle, the stroke size, and even the shape of the path by adjusting these three sliders. One more thing I want to show you is how to combine this arrow mogut and another mogut to create some cool animation without needing After Effects. So first you should design your arrow and make sure your sequence only has this arrow. I'll bring in another mogut I made called Wiggle. Again, if you have missed it, it's in some of my previous videos. In Wiggle, make sure you select Wiggle Media Asset. And then in the Asset window, just bring in anything for now. It doesn't matter what you bring into this placeholder for now, we'll replace it later. Open it in the timeline and drop in your arrow sequence on top. Now you've got your own wiggling arrow, customized with your design, shape and color. Feel free to experiment with it and let me know how you end up using it in your edits. 
I'll be putting out an uncut version of how I make this Mogurt. I'll be showing the After Effects file for those who are interested in creating their own Mogurts. But that will be in the next video. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me create more content. So until next time, stay creative and happy editing.